The Witch Queen hype has seriously brought more questions than answers, but there's just one question on my mind. Are we going to see a new elemental weapon type in the form of poison? This is more a short piece hoping to strike up some conversations about it to be honest, so what do you think? Osteostrigger has been revealed as the name of the new exotic SMG coming with the Witch Queen, and well, just take a look at this from the Game Awards trailer. It looks oddly familiar to the effects we see currently from both Fawn and the Necrotic Grip Exotics, leading me to believe it is most likely following suit in their status effects when used. The name is also interesting too, because it could have a few different meanings, including it being a type of demon, but the one that stuck with me when researching this is for the word Strigger. Strigger is a type of parasitic plant that eats crops such as corn, rice and sugarcane, and it's also commonly known as Witchweed. As for Osteo, it basically means bone, so as you can see this whole name just leans heavily into the Witch Queen theme which we've seen so far. I know that Bungie stated we aren't specifically getting a new subclass in the Witch Queen, as they focus instead on the light subclass rework, but that doesn't mean we aren't going to see any poison themed elemental weapons properly identified in the game as such, much like the recent and new stasis elemental weapons that we've seen. Poison, Corruption or whatever Bungie decide to call it has long been touted as the next new subclass in Destiny 2, even long before Stasis, mainly thanks in part to the iconic exotic hand cannon Fawn. Introducing a new poison style weapon as the main centerpiece exotic in a DLC where we've been told we won't see a new subclass is definitely intriguing. The addition of a symbol to state that these two exotic weapons and even necrotic grip are of a poison elemental type won't technically mean anything in the game at this time, as it won't tie in with any subclass abilities directly, but it could be a fun way for Bungie to test its full introduction likely to be within the Lightfall DLC in year 6 of Destiny 2. If you like this clickbait video, please subscribe plus also check out this bait and click right here for something you'll also enjoy but tell me I've clickbaited you anyway.